हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बायोलॉजी लवर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द व्हाट आर द जीन प्ले क्रूशियल रोल इन कैंसर एंड व्हाट इज द टाइप ऑफ दिस जीन सो टू मेन टाइप ऑफ जीन इज ट्यूमर सप्रेसर जीन्स एंड ऑंकोजीन्स प्ले क्रूशियल रोल इन कैंसर सो वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द द पाथवे एंड द रोल ऑफ दिस जीन्स इन द कैंसर and try to describe the tumor suppressor gene and oncogenes so let's come so first we are going to discuss about the proto oncogenes so proto oncogenes the normal gene in our cell involved in the normal cell growth and development when in alter in function or it mutation happen in this gene it become convert to the oncogenes so it is the oncogenes the potential cause of cancer and proto oncogenes we are discussing about the proto oncogenes code for various cell growth protein like growth factor growth receptor kinase gene regulating protein so this is the proto oncogenes code for the various protein so when this proto oncogenes is mutated you can see here proto oncogenes is mutation happen and it convert to the oncogenes when this proto oncogenes is mutated the protein product of this proto oncogenes are not formed and it goes to the alter the cell function and it hamper the cell cycle regulation and different protein pathway so we are you can see here this is the normal cell and this is a normal gene regulate cell growth when it is it is a cancer cell means it here the oncogenes mean proto oncogenes mutated mutation happen and this oncogenes is converted into the cancer cell so here the example of the some of the proto oncogenes that is the ras gene and it is uh, found in the pancreatic cancer ras gene mutation and lmyc and uh, this is the found in the butax lymphoma uh, lymphoma and uh, nmyc and uh, also found and bcl2 also play it is a type of proto oncogenes play role in the follicular lymphoma and erbb2 erythroblastic leukemia this is also a proto oncogenes and herb2 you know about the breast cancer herb2 gene play role and if it is mutated it is found in breast cancer cell and cyclin d you know in cell cycle regulation cyclin and cdk play a crucial role and cyclin d found in the g1s transition point if cyclin d gene is mutated and uh, it uh, alter the cell cycle function and cell become the cancerous so it is all about the proto oncogenes but uh, we are going to you are going to find the pathway of the one gene so you can understand better so we are going to discuss about the ras gene pathway if ras gene is mutated its protein product also mutated so let's see the ras gene pathway so this is the ras protein signaling in cancer so the here you can see the normal ras protein inactive ras protein bound to the gdp and when extracellular signal come for the cell division and this inactive ras protein is phosphorylated it bound to the gdp when it is phosphorylated it can active ras protein and convert to the gdp and this active ras protein gives signal to the nucleus and uh, dna where the dna is when get signal it give the transcript product this signal regulate the transcript gene involved in the cell division so it give the transcript product and uh, this transcript product give the protein and other signaling to the cell for the cell division so this is the normal ras protein signaling pathway when this ras protein is mutated what happen we are going to the understand in next slide so this is the mutated ras protein signaling pathway so you can see here this is the extracellular signal but this is no effect of extracellular signal because all this here the ras protein is always active you can see here it bound to the gtp this ras protein is mutated and bound to the gtp and it is always active when it is always active it give continuous signal to the nucleus or we can say the dna for the transcription when the continuous transcription happen cell division 
transcript or we can say the, the transcript product is protein here the continuous transcription is happen it give to the cell continuous signal about the cell division when extracellular signal is present or not present it is doesn't affect its function because always it is trans protein is active and it give continuous signal to dna for transcribe the cell division transcript and it give the signal to the cell for continuous cell division so this is the mutated protein signaling pathway so you are understand so next we are going to understand the tumor suppressor gene so what is tumor suppressor gene so tumor suppressor gene regulate the slow division and repair mistake and induce apoptosis when required it is also a type of gene it regulate the cell cycle means cell division or we can say that it slow down the cell division and it repair mistake and if it is mistake is not repaired by cell it induce apoptosis in cells means program cell death so tumor suppressor gene code for also protein inhibit cell proliferation and prevent cancer cell growth and induce apoptosis so tumor suppressor gene it's a gene its product is protein and is protein the prevent the cell proliferation and um, the pre prevent cancer cell growth and induce apoptosis so when mutation occur in the tumor suppressor gene the uncontrolled cell growth occur so and if this cell growth can may contribute to the cancer so different type of tumor suppression gene is found but main gene is the t53 gene mutation play a role in the 50 percent of all type of cancer this is a very important gene play in the role of cell cycle growth or checking the cell cycle growth and repairing mistake apoptosis this gene is regulated by the t53 gene so to understand the tumor suppressor gene you can observe this um, picture this is a this is a road and is a car is moving and uh, we know a car have two brakes and uh, these uh, car brakes are to regulate the speed of the car so when the first brake is failed the we the slight uh, we fail control on the car so it is run away in the road so when second brake is failed this car is totally out of control and this going to the hit the any way and anywhere in the road because this speed of car is not regulated so this like the tumor suppressor gene play a role in the cell the regulate the cell cycle and slow down the cell cycle and maintain its pathway when this one gene of the tumor suppressor gene is mutated you can see the first knockout mutation means and we can see the first um, mutation happen to the one gene of the t53 gene it is going to something it is going to in our hand we can't control the cell cycle full away when two gene is mutated this break of the cell of our cell cycle is totally gone we can't control the cell cycle without when two gene of tumor suppressor gene is mutated so this is this type when and this is described the two heat hypothesis when two heat hypothesis when we know a gene have a two allele and when this um, two allele is mutated is totally function of the gene is gone so tumor suppressor gene function is here gone so example of some tumor suppression gene is given here that is rb1 play role in the retinoblastoma and uh, apc in colon cancer this is also a tumor suppressor gene and brca want to play in the it's a tumor suppressor gene play in role in the breast cancer and nf1 by 2 neurofibromas p53 found in the we see the total cancer percentage happen in the all in our body 50 percent cancer happen due to the p53 gene and bhl is a tumor suppression gene play role in kidney and many other cell so p53 is a very important gene so we are going to discuss about the its pathway let's come so this is a p53 gene function 
how pivot with gene is regulated cell cycle so here the gene is given uh, the, the dbd dna binding domain of the t53 and uh, the dominant negative mutation is happened this is the, into the gene so see here the dna damage when cells are dna damage happen in cell or any type of stress due to the dna damage happen so in this condition generally p53 bind to the mdm2 a antagonistic protein found in the cell p53 in inactive with the when it is in normal condition bind to the mdm2 when the stress condition is come uh, dna damage happen anything this p53 is activated or phosphorylated and it is separate from the mdm2 and this p53 going to work in a two pathway if he try to the is first try to the try to buy some protein product it arrests the cell cycle and try to the um, repair the dna damage and uh, when dna damage is repair it uh, again cell cycle is going on and in another pathway when cell cycle arrest happen and uh, cell is unable to repair this dna damage they going to the another pathway that is apoptosis so program cell death and this p53 so p into one downstream pathway and other protein it going to the induced apoptosis and when apoptosis is going to happen death of the cell happen because this is the mutated cell mutated gene containing cell or dna damage happen so we can't pass this mutated information or wrong information to next generation so we need to kill this cell to maintain the homeostasis so by another pathway apoptosis p53 kill the unregulated cell or dna damage cell so this is the pathway and we are going to the some detail explanation of which type of protein is activated by p53 in next slide so let's come so this is the t53 pathway response to a hyperactive stress or we can say the dna damage so you can see we are um, going to the t um, 53 and we i am describe about the t53 bound to the mdm2 and when the stress condition dna damage come t53 is and activated and this t53 activated different protein you can solve for the growth arrest they activate 1433s cdkn1a btg2 and different type of protein and for the apoptosis t53 activate bugs noxa fox pg2 these are the all type of protein and by this downstream protein activation it induce the apoptosis when it try to dna repair it activate the gadd for pipe a and xpc and different other protein and when it when going to cell senescence it activates cdk anyway so here the different protein is given for different function this different protein is activated by t53 to regulate the different function in the cell so this is to not to remember all the things but try to understand the concept so this is all about the tumor suppressor gene and uh, oncogenes and proto-oncogenes how these proto-oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes regulate the cell cycle in its effect on cell and how its play role in cancer we are describing it so if you try to understand um, more and uh, try to need more information about it you can visit this the reference link and uh, this is the all about the reference thank you